then when we're done with videos, um, we're going to let Paxton do a little bit of a review time. A, <laughs> a little bit of a review time on BPA and DECA, just of the, the dates that we need to remember to come back to. And we'll play a, a review game. I'll use a different, we'll use Kahoot today. So make sure you have some devices ready. Looks like we're still missing a couple of people maybe. I can't tell and the number's down a couple. There's 46 here. Okay, okay. So Paxton, do you want to take it away? You're muted, sister. That was bound to happen. Okay, so can everyone see my screen? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so everyone, if you are um, presenting, you are in charge of presenting your own video as a team. And then this is to kind of help you if you are doing a virtual classroom this year. Um, I promise you, you're not going to want to juggle all of your student videos to present them yourself. And it's always better if the person who owns the video on their own computer can present it instead of us presenting it via YouTube or something like that. So um, without further ado, group one, are you ready? We have the A squared B cubed group. And you all can take over sharing and we'll let you guys take the stage. If everyone will go ahead and turn off their cameras, this helps with internet lag. And then make sure you are muted unless you belong to group one and you all can do your thing. Hi. For this presentation, I had the pleasure of working with three Bills and Aaron. We chose an appropriate presentation for the pandemic of 2020 to persuade students to join BPA. And without further ado, here is our video. Angela, we're not seeing your screen share. Ah. Okay, well. So how do I get it to go? Do you see where it says share screen? Uh, no. Okay, so it should, should be at the bottom of your device where you have mute, start video, security, participants. Um, share screen. You see that? Are you on a, com a laptop or a computer? I'm on a laptop. Okay. So you should have the share screen button down there. It doesn't look like I do. Okay. I do have your video on YouTube, so I can go ahead and share it if you want me to. It, yeah, that's weird because it okay. just says mute, stop video, and then right beside it, it has participants chat and record on this computer. Okay, do you see a more button or anything? Okay, I'll go ahead and share. And that's no, hold on, good. never mind, never mind. You find I, it? I, okay, perfect. I found it, okay, hold on. Wonderful. And make sure you share computer sound and optimize for the video. Those are two little check boxes at the bottom of that share screen page. And do not feel bad about not knowing how to do that. This is the reason we're here and you're learning on us instead of in front of your students. So, hey, there you go. Okay. Yeah, this is a first. So here we go. Perfect. From Evan Santa Fe and Bill Martin from McLean High to come hold up on, with the on. top five reasons oh. to join. Hey out there everyone in the World Wide Web. My name is Joe and I put together a crack team consisting of Angela Smith of Agra High, Aaron Robertson from Crooked Oak High, Bill Nye from Evan Santa Fe, and Bill Martin from McLean High to come up with the top five reasons to join BPA. And here we go. Number one, why be a lone wolf when you can join the pack that rules? 
BPA. Number two, don't be a turkey, soar like an eagle, BPA. Number three, it's a jungle out there, join BPA. Number four, do you want to get fed to the tigers? Join BPA. And number five, the only pizza we have is from Little Caesars and it was not made with old Walmart meat. So join BPA. So remember all you cool cat and kittens, Joe says don't be like Carol, join BPA. Hey out there everyone in the world wide. Let's all give A Squared B Cubed a round of applause. That was amazing. That was awesome. <laughs> Good job. Cool. Good job. So, and this is another teaching moment. Um, if you do have the reactions button somewhere on your screen, you can actually give them a clap. So, and that's what will show up on your video. So you can find that in more or sometimes under the participants. It depends on where it is on your device. And that's something that you can use in your classes as well. Okay. Now, group two, as you're getting ready, and group two is the wheel, like why reinvent it? So group two, if you will let me know when you are ready to go. Group one, if you'll turn off your cameras and mute yourselves. Okay, the wheel decided to go a different way with things. Uh, we tried to be a little bit more serious, I'm sorry, but uh, to start off with, I want to thank uh, Carl Wells. Uh, Carl and our group did the heavy lifting. We bounced around ideas. We uh, came up with a, a few things that we liked, and uh, we all gathered the images together, and Carl took our voices through a Zoom meeting yesterday added it to the uh, presentation and took off with it. So we all want to thank Carl for doing all the heavy lifting on that last night. For the technical details, it was recorded using uh, Adobe Audition from Zoom Call and was imported, in, imported into uh, the Adobe Premiere. We, he used some Creative Commons music and put that down underneath our voices that were uh, cut into it. We grabbed some images that we found on the uh, BMIT Oklahoma website. He added some layers to them so they would work in uh, Premiere. And uh, it's 59.29, so you have some buffer time, so it could actually could be used as a commercial on a local station. Uh, he exported it using H.264 optimized for YouTube and it is 1080. Thoughts in putting this together would be presented to a group of stakeholders and to show the potential that BPA holds for the students. Again, we use pictures from BPA Oklahoma Twitter account to highlight the things that Oklahoma BPA students are doing when they when what they receive from the program in the future. Should we be doing something like this for our particular schools? The idea would be to cut in local uh, students uh, and what they thought. Uh, using the students' own words showed how strongly that they believe in what BPA is and what it meant to them. And we use the idea that parents and other stakeholders would want to make sure that students would be wanting to reach their full potential. So let me your screen. Bob, I'm not sure that you shared the computer sound. And that's in that shared Sorry. screen. I'm not sure that you shared the computer sound. That's in the shared screen box. It's just a little tiny checkbox at the bottom. Okay, let me go back here. You want to optimize it for video and that will work great. 
Sorry, missed those buttons. Let me go back. They're easy to miss. Restart. They're very easy to miss. Have you considered Business Professionals of America? We empower students to become leaders, to discover their passion, and to change the world by creating unmatched opportunities in learning. Anthony gave back to the Moore Norman community as his group rang bells for the Salvation Army. Morgan from Vasa went to the National Convention three years in a row, making BPA her favorite part of high school. Patricia led her chapter in Sayre to the state title in the Chain of Love Project with Special Olympics. Just and many from Jerome Wright went from never hearing about BPA to having the chance to compete at the national level in Anaheim, California. Jesus from Guyman has met many inspiring people who are the beginnings of his business network. Give purpose to your potential this year with Business Professionals of America. Okay, let's give a round of applause to the wheel. Wonderful job. Very everyone. nice. Good job. Okay, and now while group three gets ready, they are basic BPA. Group three, let me know when you are ready to take over. Okay, I think we are ready. Are we ready, Jamie? I'll go ahead and give the intro. It, um, hold on just one second. Oops. I'm going to do the intro, and then Jamie's actually going to share her screen as she's the one. Shout out to Jamie. She did the heavy lifting here. Um, we've got Chrissy, Christy, Cindy, Jamie, and myself, David. Um, and basically our thoughts on this, we kind of jumped on the Zoom bandwagon. Um, you guys will see with our video, but the whole no talking thing. This uh, is probably more geared towards teachers because in my experience, my grand one year of experience with BPA, um, the teachers have a lot more influence on convincing the students to do it than a video we can show to the students. Our students are kind of inundated with um, overload and I just found that you're not gonna make a cool enough video for them. But if I can sit and talk to them and explain, hey, you know, here's why it would benefit you and have a dialogue rather than chunk a video at them and say, you know, hey, you need to do BPA because of watch this. That you, we can't compete with the Disney pluses of the world and all the, all the media they have in front of them. So, but I can compete with a dialogue. So this is a little more geared towards the teachers. Um, so not quite as catchy, not quite as grabby, whatever. Um, but hopefully it can convince teachers to get on board and then the teachers can then convince the students to get on board. So Jamie, whenever you're ready to share your screen, we'll have at it. Is the screen showing up? It is not. Okay, let's see. I've hit share screen. Okay. Okay. There should be a green outline around the screen when it is sharing. Okay. Let's see. Desktop. Share computer sound. Okay. When I hit share, it says allow Zoom to, to share your screen. Mm -hmm. um, open system preferences. I hit open system preferences, but nothing. Do you have that window open? already which one the one with the your video, video yes is it yes. open okay um let's see so when you it should say when you hit share screen just the button that's green um it should open up to a big box with options for what screens you can share mm -hmm. is it giving you that yes okay so then select the one that with the video make sure you hit computer okay. sound and then you're just going to hit share it's a blue button at the bottom Okay, I think I was hitting the wrong. It's still set telling me to open system preferences. Okay, um, I can share from your, you, I, you guys sent your YouTube video, so I can go ahead and share that if you would like me to, or we can do that however okay. your group wants. I guess my computer's just not cooperating today. Okay, or let me pull that up. More likely. You're fine, it just takes practice. 
Okay, so I'm going to share that from my screen. One moment. Wonderful job. Let's give a round of applause to group three. Oh, yay, nice. That was awesome, loved it. Good job. Okay, now while group four gets ready, group four, let me know when you are ready to take over. Yeah, we're good. I'll introduce it and then, um, I think Jacob is supposed to share, or if you're going to share it, whoever, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, but for our group, um, we kind of did along the same lines as group three. Um, we felt like, you know, we weren't going to create something that was so creative or mind blowing that kids had never seen before, especially not um, in our homes in one evening. Um, so we tried to kind of stay a little bit more practical, a little bit more logical. We felt like those were kind of um, a lot of the type of students that would be in BPA anyways. Um, so we tried to focus on um, the pros of BPA, things like um, how you can get scholarships, the competition aspect, um, things that would just kind of ignite a little bit of interest. Um, and then maybe from there, they would be more willing to kind of um, come and talk about it or seek people out to, to ask about it. Um, and we need to give thanks to Kelly. Um, she's from Hera, but she's actually at a national softball competition, but she was still able to put our video together. So we're really thankful for her. Um, Jacob, if you are ready. Are you passionate and want to change the world? Do you want the opportunities for growth through education, competition, community service, and personal development? Business Professionals of America might just be for you. If you want to build up your resume, the club for you is BPA. You will practice and learn important interview skills and how to dress professionally for your future career. Being a part of BPA can open up additional opportunities for scholarships, and who doesn't love free money? So give BPA a try. Do you have what it takes to win the gold? Join BPA, it'll never get old. Awesome job, I love the rhyme at the end, very great. Um, let's give a round of applause to group number four. Great job, everybody. That was good. Okay, and at group five, you are up there called Connection. So group five, let me know when you are ready to take over our screens. Okay. 
think we're ready. Perfect. Um, okay. I don't, I'm only going to introduce and uh, Casey will share from her computer. We are thankful for Casey's iMovie skills and we really focused on what their investment of their dues of that $20 bill can um, and investing in themselves can do for them rather than blowing it, you know, one night at the movies. So that's kind of the theme we went with was uh, how it could grow. Okay, Casey. Okay, let me see if I can get it here. <clears throat> can you see it? We cannot. Okay. Um, it's making me do the system preferences thing too. I don't know if it's a Mac thing. Um, let's see. I have your video. Sorry. No, you're okay. My computer that wouldn't do it was a Mac also. Okay. Interesting. Um, let's see. Christy, do you have, I don't have theirs on our YouTube channel. Do you have theirs pulled up on CTU? If I need to send the link. Actually, the yes. If you'll just put it in the chat, that'd be awesome. And I can pull it up from there. Okay. Awesome. Um, I think that your video is set to private. It's not letting me in. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> no worries at all. Oh, um. So while she's getting that, does anyone want to share um, if they learned a new way of filming something or putting something together that they might be able to implement into their classes this fall? How do I make it not private? It's not. Are you in your YouTube channel? Uh-huh. Okay, so when you're on your channel videos dashboard, um, you can see where it says visibility and you're just gonna change that from private um, and make it public. Or if you make it unlisted, anyone with a link can view it. Okay, one second, sorry. No, no worries at all. And honestly, this is something for, I can talk about BPA competition. They have to send us links to videos. Um, for competition for pre-submitted events and so often they'll forget to give us permission to view their Google link or their YouTube video will be set to private and it's, um, it's always something that we encounter so it's a good conversation to have with your students about when you're sending a link to someone um, how it's set and all of that and it's so easy to forget to do that too. Okay so you said once in my channel to go to the video and okay so you're in your channel right where you see all your videos uh, yep okay so hover over that video and do you see where the visibility line is there's like an eye icon there um all it has is like a clock and like where it says watch later um, let's see. Okay, so you're in your channel. You're logged in, correct? Uh-huh. Okay, so you have dashboard and then videos on the left-hand side. Hey, 
Did you find the videos, Payne? No, mine, I don't. Okay, walk I'm, me through what you see. Okay, so um, it has all my videos. I am hovering over the particular video that I want to play. It has a watch later button, and then it has an add to the queue button, and then there's three dots that have those same options. I can see where it says private, but it won't let me click on it. I mean, like, it'll let me click on it, but it takes me to so, so the, um, I'm, the video. Is it your video? Or are you sharing it from someone else, potentially? Is it your video on your YouTube account? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, hey, Paxton, it might help her if you shared your YouTube. And like yeah, I can show you what my screen looks like. And you guys can see the, the Be My account real quick. Yeah, that would probably help. Okay, so here's what my dashboard looks like. So I'm in my channel. Um, oh, mine does not look like that at all. Okay, so I have the <laughs> dashboard, the videos. And so this is what I'm talking about with, and you can just easily, so private is what it's set at right now. Um, unlisted is viewable with a link only. And then public is anyone can search for it. Okay. Um. I'm not sure how to find that screen because mine is totally different. Okay. Can you go into edit your video at all? Um. So, say you have $20. Um, no. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, here. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yeah. Sorry. So, you might be able to change it there where you can edit it. So, look through those settings to see if you have the capability to edit its visibility. I know you can change if it's made for kids or not for kids. Um, you can oh, yeah. Okay. I got okay. it. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So... Let me save it real fast and then okay, and then I'll refresh it. Open it now. So and then for those of you on Macs that are having trouble sharing, um, just even if you set up a free Zoom account and Bye. try to um, share your screens, um, it would be good to work through that before your classes. Um, I know with my Mac, I had to go through some updates and things like that to be able to use Zoom like the rest of the people in my staff who are using their PCs. So um, just go ahead and update those settings before school gets started and just set up a free Zoom account and log in there and just practice. Press buttons, you're not going to break anything. Okay, it is pulling up, so I'm going to share my screen. So, say you have $20. Use it for a movie night or maybe invest it. Invest in yourself, you are worth it. So pretend your $20 is a seed. The seeds plant it, connections count help it grow, and industry professionals help it branch off. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Travel this year could take you to sunny Florida, to the beach. Hello, networking. Like I said, invest in yourself. You are worth it. For more information, you can visit bpa.org. Nice job. Awesome job, group five. Okay, now group six, you are up. Let me know when you are ready to take over. They're the Bite Me group. That's awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Matt, are you ready? Yes. Okay. I'm just going to do the introduction and then Matt's going to uh, show the video. 
And you know, we live in a world of, of acronyms. We have DECA, we have BPA, we have VMITE. What do, what do all those things stand for? Well, we have figured out that if you miss one class and you don't recognize that marketing is important, you're just gonna be another bite me group. So take it away, Matt. If you want to have tons of fun and learn more to further your future, I don't know one why of the audio programs is. If you want to have tons, I can hear it on my end. Okay, I just can't hear it on my computer. That's weird. Okay. If you want to have tons of fun and learn more to further your future, then one of our BMIT programs is for you. How about fundamentals of technology? Well, you will learn to use Excel. Working with numbers, you'll learn Word, how to write letters and create a resume, and you'll know how to work with PowerPoint, create outstanding presentations so you can share information. Or how about personal financial literacy? Taxes? I didn't give you permission to take out taxes. Where do I opt out? Principal and interest? This is not the same as the office you're sent to. Interest is the amount you pay to borrow someone else's money. Want to know more? Then sign up for PFL. It's fun. What about Business Professionals of America? The organization that ties all BMI classes together and helps you connect to other like-minded business leaders and help gives you a leg up into the business world. There's also Intro to Entrepreneurship. You want to be in business for yourself one day? Say your own hours? Be your own boss and make as much money as you can work for? Then take a chance and come join us in the Intro to Entrepreneurship class. Or how does working on a Hollywood set or becoming the next YouTube star sound? If that sounds like your jam, then digital media production is for you. That's where you'll learn all the skills you need to become the next up-and-coming filmmaker. So, go find a counselor and sign up for one of our Be My programs today. Nicely awesome. done. Good ideas. And don't forget marketing. Very good. Let's give them a round of applause. Awesome job, Group 6. Great job, guys. Okay, and now we are ready to view video number seven from the Chaos Coordinator. So group seven, let me know when you are ready to take over our screen. Okay, this is Orlando Vargas, I'm ready, thanks. Um, I should preface uh, the video we have, the introduction I have is for our students in class. This is how I would present it when I go back to class. And uh, so it's tailored to the schools, okay? Let me do this here. <clears throat> okay, let me just, all right. So I'm there. Sorry about that, the phone was running out of battery. Um, so here's where we're gonna start. And after that, I'll introduce Regan Anthony. She was very kind to all, uh, get all her family involved and uh, create a beautiful, with input from all of us, of course, uh, um, video, but it's, it's just, you like it. Okay, so this is how I will start. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today I have a very important subject I would like to talk to you about. It's uh, about this organization that we're promoting here at uh, our school. Uh, the name of it is uh, BPA that it stands for Business Professionals of America. And what I would like to do to each one of you is to investigate and look at it and see if you would like to join. I think you would. Now, what does BPA will do for you? Well, BPA is an organization tailored that prepares you for the business world. Some of us don't have a plan after getting out of school after a senior, some of us do, but a lot of us do not. So this will kind of steer you in uh, different areas that you may find that is something for you. This organization will give you experience before you go into the business world. And so you can adapt to all the changes we're having in the business world today, like we have the COVID-19 today. 
So it gives you an opportunity to be more successful, uh, try different things, and see what niche you want to be in. I can assure you, try it. you like it. Be a member of BPA. And here we have, I'm introducing uh, Anthony Reagan. She is going to uh, show us the video. So I would play the B video there. Okay. Um, the pandemic is changing the way businesses operate. One of the things that BPA is focused on teaching students is how to adapt and learn and navigate this new business world. More and more job functions are becoming virtual opportunities, and with that comes a lot of challenges. Companies are actively seeking individuals who can maintain focus while in a non-traditional office. Employees that can adapt to readily changing circumstances and effective multitaskers. Password. In addition to scholarship opportunities, you will also be given the opportunity to compete in workplace skills assessments, which could earn you national recognition and help land you your dream job working from home. Our goal with BPA is to prepare you to be a valuable asset in the workplace, regardless of the challenges you're presented with. Contact your faculty advisor to get signed up today. Okay, let's give group seven, the chaos coordinators, a round of applause. Good job. Definite praise in the very chat. Good, very good. Relating it to this spring. My kids had fun throwing things at me and <laughs> breaking things. <laughs> I bet they did. <laughs> so funny. Good job. Now they have to unlearn that, right? <laughs> I know that that's their normal behavior. <laughs> Okay, so now we're ready for group eight, CTE 19. So group eight, let me know when you are ready to take over. I think we're ready. Tracy, are you ready? Sure. Wonderful. After you. Awesome. All right, so ours is definitely gonna be catered to the kids. And I'm, I'd just like to start off with a quote. A leader is best when people barely know he exists. When his work is done, his aim fulfilled, they will say, we did it ourselves. Now, for everybody that wants to become a BPA, what does that actually mean? What is entailed with that? That means leadership, durability, integrity, honor, and resiliency. These are all things that should describe a great leader and a great motivator. And if you wanna have those things, we're gonna be able to help shape you and cater you through simple things such as leadership, public speaking, um, customer service, and relationships. And speaking of relationships, let's talk about that a little bit. I mean, in a day when people are wearing masks and social distancing is even more important to look, uh, to look for opportunities and creative ways to connect with other students and make friends, BPA is a great way to come together, make friends, and build skills for the future. And we'd like to shape you to be the future leaders of the world. And we'd like to show you when you become those leaders, when you start volunteering, when you start becoming the people that you want to be one day, we're going to show you the video that actually shows those kids doing that. Tracy, take it away. Okay, don't know about the uh, sound. Tell me if you can hear it. Yes, we can.
Oh, and I also want to say, Wes did a great job making this for us. Awesome job, group eight. Let's give them a round of applause as well. Nice job. Okay, and that concludes our group projects. So I'm gonna let Christy talk to you all for just a bit about kind of wrapping up there and then um, we'll get into our merchandise giveaway. So are you going to send us a poll here in just a few minutes? Yes, so just give me about a minute to do that and that'll be ready. I can do that. Um, does anybody have any questions? I always wanna start off with that. Do you have any questions? You know, what you've seen up to this point? I just wanna say, they did a great job. These were some pretty impressive videos. We never know what we're gonna get and it always surprises me because they're always so unique, and I don't know where, where everyone comes up with all their neat ideas, but so many relevant ones this time, and I just loved it. Good job. Yeah. Agreed. I love all of them because I love the fun, goofy ones, and I love the serious ones with the, you know, the in-depth content. They were all so good. Um, I don't see any questions. What else do we have, Carrie? You know, so, some of the things that we've talked about, you know, we're coming to the end of this day, but um, Jackie made the point earlier, there's so many things that we just barely skimmed the surface of, and we know that there's gonna be a lot of questions when you get back to um, actual, the, the actual real world. And, uh, you know, just remember that you can contact us. There's so many things that we're gonna continue on later and you'll have time to think up questions and come up with um, some things that you thought you understood, but maybe maybe it didn't, it wasn't what you thought it was. So we'll get back together, you know, at the end of, um, what's our next date, Christy? Um, July, oh, July 28th, or are you talking about the August date? No, our, our next one that we meet with our teachers is August the 26th, as far as the, you know, the academy getting back. You'll, you'll do the other training for VPA and DECA, but um, you know, the one that we do later in August, you'll have some time to kind of settle in a little bit and come up with new um, questions and concerns. And that's also the day that, that we'll share with you some best practices from other teachers. Um, but just know that we know that we just skimmed the surface on most of it. And it's gonna take you a lot of time to actually dig in and figure it all out. But, but don't be intimidated by that, because that's, that's what we're here for. We're here to help you, you get through all that and to figure it out. Well, I think our poll is ready. So Paxton. Yes, what and just to preface that, so you'll see a poll on your screen. This is something that isn't, pop, isn't going to pop up in your Zoom calls with your students unless you enable that setting. And you do that in your main Zoom account on your desktop in the browser. So that is a very handy for voting. It's, it could be easy for quizzing. You can make it anonymous or you can make it so that you know who is saying what. You can add various questions. Now you can't do things like comment boxes or things like that, So it's, but it's good for multiple choice. So it is a feature in Zoom, so you don't have to leave Zoom and it just pops right up there on their screen like you're going to see. I have put all the videos in order one through eight with their names, so um, that's how you'll see them there. Okay, so I'll um, launch the poll and we'll leave it open for about um, 60 seconds or so. And I'll play some music during that time, and then we'll announce the winners. Sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah. I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before. No, no, I get a good feeling, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I can. Doubt, believe, I wonder what the 
is a plan. Pull me, grab me, grab me, look at the day, happy. I'll be the president one day. Change will be first. Only like that guy's zip. Like you the one picking what God's zip. Now come, now I got a word for your tongue. How many rolling stones you brought? Yeah, I got a brand new spirit. Speaking of this door. You won't be silent a bit like I'm born. Pop my woman in my chest to that sword. G5 in the US to Taiwan. Now who can say that? I want to play that. Mama knew I was a leader when I hate that. Oh, Hollywood, let's stay back. I got a feeling in my brain. Hey, stop. Oh, sometimes I get a little feeling like I'm falling down. Oh, sometimes I get a feeling yeah. Okay, it looks like everyone has voted. And Christy, do you want me to announce the winner? Oh no, you go right ahead. Okay, well, it looks like I'm actually going to be out quite a bit of BPA and DECA merchandise, which is amazing merchandise that we sell in our stores at our conferences because we have a two-way tie um, between A squared, B cubed, our very first group one team, and the chaos coordinators, our group seven team. So I am more than happy to send you all some BPA merchandise and we will be getting that to you. It may be a little bit of a delay with making sure we get it to the right area, but you all will all be receiving BPA or DECA merchandise, depending on if your business or marketing. Okay, Christy. All right, thank you. Well, I know that we wanted to give you a few minutes to talk about BPA and DECA, about dates for everyone to remember. Do you have time to do that or would you like for me to come back to you? No, I have it ready to go if okay. you're ready for me. Yep, go for it. Okay, I'm going to share my screen so you guys just have a visual. You can screenshot it if you need to. Okay, so um, the very first things, um, BPA dates are in white, DECA dates are in blue. Um, July 28th, that's for both of you. So um, intro to DECA, 9 a.m., that's gonna kind of help you get started with your year. It's geared for new teachers. Um, there's not very many of you, so it'll be a very intimate conversation. So bring your questions so that I can answer them. I also have your input from the poll yesterday. Um, and then at 10 a.m., I'll be doing an intro to BPA to help BPA get through the start of their year. So bring your questions. And um, with that being the later one, I don't have anything planned after that. So if we need to go later, we will. And I'm ready to devote the time to do that to get you started and comfortable for your year. August 5th, um, we have national BPA updates. And this is really special because we have the National Director of Tech Ed and the National Director of Education from BPA who are going to be doing a presentation for you about all of the national BPA updates and the systems they'll be rolling out this year and helping you get ready for competition and everything like that. And this is an amazing opportunity to hear from people on the national staff. So I really encourage you to attend that. And if you have questions after that, because they'll be introducing things that might be new to you, just let me know and I'm happy to answer those. August 5th will be um, another DECA Inc. presentation from Josh Schenkel, who is the State Advisor of Texas. He also does presentations like this all the time across the nation. And this is going to really help you um, dive into the DECA guidebook that will be sent to you and know this, these are the questions on the test that my students will be taking. This is how I can excel in competition. One of our goals as a um, state DECA organization this year is to put ourselves on the stage at ICDC, which is the um, national competition for DECA. Um, traditionally, we have not made it very far at ICDC and we are looking to change that and we have some goals to do that. And the first one is to get our advisors some training on how to navigate competition on the DECA end of things. Um, this August 17th date, that is going to be for when I update you on dues changes for BPA this year, when I update you on Fall Leadership Conference and State Leadership Conference and our state plans, it'll be an open discussion where we can talk um, about, you know, things that are going on in our state, things that I've learned from national um, staff, things like that. So plan to join us on August 17th at 1 p.m. for our Oklahoma BPA update. This is going to be very valuable to know what I am planning for the year. August 17th, same thing for DECA, um, just a yearly overview. Hopefully most of the DECA advisors will be there. So for new teachers, this is a great place for you to meet um, your colleagues and for BPA as well. Um, and we'll go as long as we need to on those, answer any questions to get ready for the year. 
on September 2nd, this is going to be just a training um, for new and veteran teachers. So um, there'll be a mix on how, you know, some, just some suggestions and tips I have for making your gear amazing. So we have how to BPA all day, August to May, um, maybe some um, tips on how, when to elect officers, when to have your meetings, uh, where you can find sample agendas, we can dive into the websites, all of that. So, um, and then September 2nd, for DECA, make your 2020, 2021 school year DECA amazing. Um, and that'll be the same thing where we kind of dive in with some tips and tricks that we haven't been able to reach in the intro or in our updates. So plan to join all of those and you will be virtually trained. Um, and I'll be sending out links and things for that. So be checking your email for emails for emails from me that will include information. That's Paxton, all I have. Yes. Um, I have down September 3rd for DECA. Oh, I'm sorry. I probably just copied it wrong. So okay. I will I want to create this and we will um, put it out on CTU and I can send it out too because I know that other teachers will want to see this as well. Thank you, Jackie. So September 3rd for DECA's 2021 DECA Amazing update. Okay. And all of these dates and times are in the agenda, in the agenda from today. So if you have this loaded, then you actually have those dates and times. And I did go ahead and put it in the chat for you. You are muted. That's with the <laughs> exception of the August 17th update sessions. So, and those are very, very important. So we have those every year. That is when I ask the advisors what you want to do for the year if we have something pending. You know, where do you want to hold CDC this year? Because we're looking at that. Um, how do you feel about virtual um, conferences and things like that? So be sure to attend those. They're very important um, and yeah. So Any we have questions? a question in the chat. It says ideas on how to juggle classroom and attending these trainings. Will they be recorded? So yes, I will record all of my trainings and we will put them on the Be My YouTube channels and they will be, you know, you can search them, you can show them to your kids if you want to, I don't care. Um, and then I'll also put them on the BPA website and we can put them on, see, we can put them everywhere. So um, we'll make them available. I do encourage you to do it live in case you do have questions because I'm ready to answer and spend the time needed to answer your questions on those. Um, but if you can't make it, then just check for a recording later. Will the Zoom links be sent to their email addresses? Yep. Yeah. So um, you'll hear, a, um, you'll get kind of our staff emails from Monday Madness and I do include things on that. But if it's something that I want to push out to you all, I will typically just send an email to all of my DECA advisors or all of my BPA advisors, um, giving you updates and links and things like that. So. All right. Thank you, Paxton. Okay. Well, yes. Christy, I'd like to share one one more resource for them. One of some of our teachers, uh, actually, they were officers from last year from the membership committee of the OKACTE BMIC group, and they wanted me to make sure and extend an offer for you guys if you're if you would like to join their Facebook site. It is OK BMIC, and I'll put that in the chat. But if you'll search for OK um, um, BMIC in Facebook and it, you have to request to join, but they have got, I just went, went out and looked at it actually, and they've got all sorts of strings going of different topic areas, you know, like back to school ideas. Um, they're, they're, it's just, they're just a whole bunch of ideas, but uh, there is a request that you have to get in. And part of that request, um, they ask if you're a member of OKACTE, because this is a kind of a division put together a resource that uh, an organ I shouldn't say division an organization that the OKACTE be my teacher organization that did this this is not something that we put out from the state staff but it is teacher run so if, if you want to join that I would encourage you to reach out because I think you'll find some good information there and they're all everyone's always willing to share everyone is so good all the teachers are to share their stuff and share good ideas and then another one that a lot of our teachers follow on Facebook is just called Business Educators. And I'll type that in there too. If you wanna um, follow along with some of those conversations, there's a lot of really good strings in that group as well. So we don't run, our staff doesn't run either one of those, but I just wanted to throw those out there as potential Facebook resources if you wanna um, tag into some of that. Another resource would be if you are on Twitter, 
um, and you're new to education, you may not have heard of this one before, but to follow the hashtag OKLAED, O-K-L-A-E-D. We can put that in the chat too. Um, they have a Sunday night chat weekly about, I think it starts at eight o'clock. Okay, are we ready to play Kahoot and see who's going to win this game? It's going to take me a minute to get in because I was not prepared. We were finished. You're good. And while you're getting into that, I just put a link to those dates um, that I just shared and I corrected the September 3rd date in the chat. So if you want that right now, it's there. So Christy, while yeah. you're pulling that up, I, I, I want to talk with them just a little bit about the, the some of the questions that have come up concerning virtual and, and how they're how they're to handle all their virtual um, classrooms and how does that um, how does that work with Career Tech? What kind of guidance do we have? We're actually in the process of putting together some policies and and um, to be able to share with you some suggestions. But obviously, first and foremost. Uh, you know, you're tied to your school. You, you are employed by your school, and so you have to follow your school's policy. So whatever your school has determined is their policy, that's what, you, that's what you're going to go by. We're there to support you as a career tech instructor, and we're going to work with you and work through issues as we can. But, but first of all, you know, you just have to, whatever they're offering up or whatever um, decisions they're making, you're following those decisions, obviously. And then, um, you know, if, if there's something strange that's happening, we want you to reach out to us. And if there's something that we can do to assist you, we'll certainly work on that from that end. But, you know, you're, you're kind of tied to uh, whatever your district has decided to do. And so making it work, will there be challenges? Absolutely, there's going to be challenges. Figuring out, you know, if everyone has to go back to virtual uh, learning, what options do you have if your students don't have connections? So those are things that probably you need to start preparing for. There's obviously there's no best scenario if they absolutely can't get connected. And if your school can't, um, is not able to tap into some of that CARES funds to get to access to technology for those students, then you're really in a bind and we may need to talk further with you and, and maybe help brainstorm and come up with some ideas. But uh, you know, everyone's gonna be unique in what they're facing and what their situation is. And whatever we can do to assist with that, we want to we want to be there for you too. So, bottom line is, you know, we know that you're the ones on the front line. You're the ones that's having to deal with it. Um, but it's always good to bounce get, uh, bounce ideas off of someone else, maybe, and maybe we've heard something from another teacher that's tried something. So we're always happy to share. Carrie, I had a question, and I'm, I feel like we talked about this earlier, but please refresh my memory. With the Oklahoma City Schools starting later, how will that affect their contract dates? Is that gonna affect them with reporting and things like that? Things are so different this year with COVID-19. There's so many times when we're gonna be saying that's gonna be a COVID exception. You know, there's nothing you can do about that. But you know, we no longer have the, the contracts that are set out that have to be 10 months. That was changed a couple of years ago. And it's just, you know, you're going to follow whatever your school has outlined for their school year. That's what you have to do. And then you also are still tied to satisfying our, our um, requirements for testing and for maintaining your BPA or DECA chapters. Those are all things that you're getting. That's what you're getting that compensation for, the $2,200 salary compensation. For the K-12 schools, tech centers are different in that regard. But, yeah, you, you just have to follow whatever school um, – whatever your district has determined that their school year is, I mean, they, they have to follow the state guidelines as well. So um, they're gonna have to satisfy however many hours that those students have to be in class. So we, we'll just follow along with whatever your district is deciding and work with that. And someone sent me a message said they think that the Oklahoma City teachers are probably in training before school starts. So they'll find out maybe more about those details, I'm guessing is what that message was. Yeah, I can't, Kathy, can you remember what Susan indicated on Oklahoma City Schools, their training? They're all reporting on the 27th. Okay. Uh, July? July 27th, next Monday. Okay. 
Okay, well, I have Kahoot ready. You need to either, you can use your cell phone and go, like if you're using an iPhone, use Safari, but go to kahoot.it. I put it in the chat. Or if you want to use another screen on the computer, go to kahoot.it. And if I can remember how to make this happen, we'll see if this works. If I share before I start playing. Okay. This is a code that you're going to need to put into into your device. It'll say code to join Kahoot game. Now I will tell you like I tell my students, don't use in a, any inappropriate names or I will remove you from the game. <laughs> that is something that you have to be careful about. When I see everybody has joined, we will start this game and we'll see who's gonna win. Who's been paying attention? Who took naps? So far, I only have 25, 26 players, and we have 48 people in class, so. Okay, Wes, if you're on the road, you, you don't have to play. I don't want to be responsible for an accident. Um, Casey, if you'll go to kahoot.it, you can do that on your browser on your cell phone or on your computer. The pin number is on the screen. I can put that in the chat as well, just in case. We're almost there with everyone. Okay, I guess I'm not seeing, I'm on, I'm using it on my phone. I went to kahoot.it, it's asking me to sign up. I've never used it before on my phone. So it's having me go through everything and sign up and put in my school ID and all that. So what am I missing? It sounds like it grabbed the website instead of kahoot.it, maybe. And that's, I, I went to kahoot.it in the beginning. If you do so, kahoot, just kahoot.it, yeah. it, it will just ask for the game pin. Okay. And no worries, you're not alone. Okay, when I do that, it takes me to like the websites, there's, it doesn't automatically go to something asking for a PIN number. Well, you don't want to put it in Google, maybe. Maybe if you can go, do you have an iPhone? Yes. Okay, so go to Safari and type in www.kahoot.it. Why won't it work in Google? Because it will take you straight to the website. It'll Google, okay. you know, Google the website. Okay. And for me, it's going really slow, but it did pull up. I don't know if, did that work for you? No. Are you spelling it um, K-A-H-O-O-T? 
Yep. I just did it in an alternate screen and I've never opened it and it went straight to the sign in with the numbers. So I, I don't know if I can play well or not, but it did work through an alternate screen real well. Okay. Again. Well, it doesn't look like everybody has logged in. I have the app and it took a minute to load. Okay. Thank you, Nicole. Thanks, Katie. Thanks, Brandy. Oh, Google worked for Brandy. Okay. That's good to know. And LaDonna. Are we ready? I'm going to give you a couple more minutes, Lisa. Okay. This music is becoming elevator music, though. Sorry, y'all. Christy? Yes. Uh, I'm going to Kahoot and uh, I'm on my phone. And uh, it gives me Kahoot, uh, uh, I mean, it gives me www.82.kahoot.it. And then it says play online game, free game, play free online games, free background, check online. Where do I go? Did you put it into, is it, did you put it into Google that you saw? Or is that where you're seeing No, all? no, no, no. I'm going through my uh, Safari that it has a default of, uh, of, of Google. I think it's Google. Yeah, it's Google. Uh -huh. Yes, Google. Okay, you want to find the one that says kahoot.it. Or if you go to Safari and you just enter it into your, your web address, you would mm -hmm. put just kahoot.it, not kahoot.com. Yeah, I, I, I put it kahoot.it. Um, Be sure to put it in the address bar and not in the Google search. Bar. Correct. Yeah, yeah, I did that. I did that. Yeah. When I do, when I just put kahoot.it in my web address or web find, mm -hmm. Whatever. It it automatically only pulls up kahoot.it. Now I, I wish y'all could see my screen, but you can't. Um okay, I was able to work around it using if you don't put it in the um if you act like you're searching kahoot.com but don't put it in the, the address bar, it works using Google. Okay. And Nicole, I have used quizzes. We used it last summer for one of our days and it was the first time I had ever used it. So I have heard really good things about that one too. My kids hands down preferred quizzes to Kahoot. Really? That's Yeah, cool. so I switched I stopped using Kahoot last year and went straight to quizzes. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead. We're losing people on our game. <laughs> now, remember, you'll have to stick around because we do have a survey for you to do at the end of today. It, it may be the, the internet connection. It'll kick them out sometimes. So if your phone goes to your lock screen, too, it will kick them out on your screen. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and get started then. I'm going to move my chat. Okay, here we go. We are going to begin. The numbers used to transcript high school courses. You need to just press on the color and the symbol of which one is the correct answer. It doesn't show anything. I mean, it shows colors and different shapes. That are, are we supposed to be able to see numbers? You, the answers yeah. are on the, the Zoom screen. And you just click the corresponding one. 
So if you're presenting this to oh, okay. your classroom, wow. you would probably have this on like an overhead or a smart TV. And then they would have the answer, they would answer it on their phone or their computer. Okay, okay. I, I had it covered up on my screen, so I didn't know what you were talking about. And I cannot go back. So I didn't, I don't even remember what that question was. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Did you, way to go, Vina, yay. It's the codes, the OCAS codes. The OCAS codes, thank you. Starting with eight, is that the one? Okay. It's just, it's OCAS codes, yeah. Okay. okay, here we go. Let's try this again. Another one. What's the percentage of business and industry members required on your advisory committees? Fifty percent is the correct answer. You want to make sure that you don't have more school staff than you have industry partners. You want to make sure that that's 50-50. Okay, Thomas gets bonus points because he said, I said over 50 percent, so he mentioned that in the chat. Thomas is good. Way to go. Keeping oh, yeah. me on my toes. Okay. On site, K-12 monitoring visit for continuous improvement. What is that called? Can I just say I love the acronym WORK? <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. Five-year evaluations. Now, if you're at a tech center, that would be an accreditation visit. But for a K-12, that would be a five-year evaluation. And Matt, he's in the lead. Katie has a streak with three correct answers in a row. Get it, girl. Where do you find BMITE syllabi, crosswalks, etc., in ctu.org? Oh, that's smart, Kathy. Kathy reminded her students that not to get frustrated if you're not on the leaderboard because internet drag can make your answers come in later than the other. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Be My Teacher Resources is where it's at. That's where we find everything. That is still in the lead. Okay, here we go. Question number five, the form used to map a career plan. Dun, 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 program of study. And I probably should have the music playing so you don't have to hear me give you the sound effects. Oh man, Nicole's coming up behind. Nine players just hit answer streak three. Question number six, when is the next CTSO training for new advisors? We just talked about this. Do I hear frustration in the crowd? Our next CTSO training is July 28th. Now we will have some more training on August 5th, but don't forget about July 28th. Oh man, Christy, she just kicked Matt out of lead. Question number seven, what number should all be my courses start with?
the number eight. So that's the number you need to talk to your counselors each year at the beginning of the school year to make sure that they have your courses enrolled in the 8,000 level courses. Christy still in the lead. Three players just hit answer streak five. Eight of eight, number of career tech standards used in the five-year evaluation. There are seven. So new teacher academy day two. Third place, Angela Smith. Way to go, Angela. Number two, Christy. And first place, Carl. <laughs> Good job, guys. That was fun. Thanks for playing. Okay, let's see, what else do we have? Any other questions? Did we, what have we decided to do, ladies? Well, I was just gonna make a comment. I know lots of times people that are brand new to career tech are very hesitant to reach out to one of us, and you shouldn't be. Um, we have veteran teachers that will reach out a lot um, and ask questions, please don't feel that way. We're here to help you, that's our whole job. So don't hesitate to contact us if you, you know, lots of times I'll get questions like, I know you've covered this, but I can't remember where it was. And that's okay, just let us know and we'll be there to help you. Okay, well guys, it has been great getting to know each of you. I wish that we could have done this in person so that we could learn your faces. And so if you, if once we are in person, if you see us out and about, just reach out and slap us and tell us, hey, I, I was a new teacher. I'm so-and-so. Do any of you have questions before we dismiss for the day? I saw in the Monday Madness um, something about um, mentor teachers or something like that. Are we supposed to get a mentor teacher? Yes, we, um, Paxton, did we decide to put the mentor question in this one or the third one? So on the survey link that you're going to get today, it does ask you if you want a mentor. So be sure to fill that out um, and be completely honest so that we can get you set up and help you. Well, and I saw on it too that it's, it's $500. Now that is something a little different. That is, we have a program here at Career Tech that you can sign up for, and that does cost money. And that's usually tech centers that send their teachers who, who, come, who are coming in from industry that don't have any kind of training and teaching at all. They'll usually pay to send them through a mentoring training. So, okay, so for like a high school teacher that I have experience teaching, it the five hundred dollars is not for me. No, right. probably not. No. Huh? no. Okay. You, cool. You're probably you're probably going to benefit more from us connecting you with another career tech instructor. You know, at one who's been around for a while. That's what we that's what we handle for mentoring. Yeah. Okay, so for this for the purposes for today, the survey is just asking you specifically for a mentor within our division. So it wouldn't okay. have anything to do with the fee. Yes. Okay. And there's a question in the chat about the July 28th training and a link. Um, use this, I'm gonna go ahead and use the new teacher training Zoom room that we've set up. Um, and I'll also send that out in kind of our agenda once I pull all those topics that you guys gave me yesterday for what we'll be talking about. So plan to use this one, but I will send it again. I'm gonna just send you information over and over again so you don't lose it, so don't worry. So Christy, before, before you send out the survey for them to do before they leave, what I would like for them to do is if every one of you would, in the chat room, if you would type one thing that was most beneficial about this, about this two days session, what was most beneficial to you? What did you learn that's been really helpful to you? This kind of helps us moving forward, you know, as we structure these kinds of events. 
what what works best you know what what did you benefit the most from and we're going to save all this chat so we'll have a record of that and, and and also you'll have the survey opportunity as well to share more information but we want to capture what was it that really helped you the most over these two days i have and another quick question oh, go ahead if we want to access a live session that is not it's a um, summit session but it's not on the fourth or the fifth how do we how do we get the information to to access that we're going to be sending that information out to you you're going to have actual links to every one of those things that are being offered oh, okay thank you you should get that within the next um week week and a half you should be getting that and if you don't reach back out to us okay okay thank you So we appreciate the comments. If you haven't got a chance, go ahead and continue to do